And the crazy part about that now, we was doing uh the be a beer video. Mm hmm And signed no contract yet with uh TVT. Just all I know was, hey, hey, we got a deal with TVT. I'm like, who is TVT? You know what I'm saying? He was like, I imagine this independent label that, that works as a major out of New York. They got uh nine inch nails. I like, oh, I know about nine inch nails, they be. They got uh uh naughty by nature, they got these people. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So we doing the um we go up to the office and everything. They fly us up there. We go to the office, meet with the people. We in the meeting, but we ain't got no talk. John doing all the talking, and it's like we can't get a word in edge wise. It's like basically we just sitting there. And then all of a sudden, we'll leave the bit room, they'll go off into small meetings everywhere else and just leave us in the bit room, like, yeah. I can chill out right here, you know, you know whatever, you know. I can smoke if you want to, or whatever, or all the food, you no know, stuff like that, trying to pacify. You know what I'm saying? When you think, when I think about it later, you know. So we doing the um, be a be a video. We shooting the video. We shooting the uh, first part of the video with China White because she had to go turn herself in uh, that next day. So mm -hmm. we are gonna get her scenes out the way, and John was driving her down to New Orleans out, right after that, so she could turn herself in in the morning. Crazy part is we shot one scene. Now think about what I'm saying. We shot one scene, and these uh, we, that's when in the water we got this big uh, Sean John uh, Jean outfit. You know all that stuff was big back then. It's soaking yeah. wet. It's cold outside, and here comes Vince Phillips. Hey boys, hey, uh, need y'all come to the truck right quick. We go to the truck. He got the contracts. I right, got y'all contracts right here. And he got the little yellow tabs in there where it's signed here, you know, like he done went all through the thing, right? So we're like, okay, you the lawyer. We going down, he like, yeah, uh, no, this page right here saying, woo, 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 woo. you know, we listen to him, whatever, sign him, sign, sign. Boom, we're like, all right, that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all go back. We go back, shoot video. There's things, as, as I start learning more, I'm thinking like, oh, so they thing was, let them shoot a scene. And then have them sign the contract. Because if they if, if we have if we don't have them sign the contract, they might not shoot the scene. I mean, it's like it was so much going on and after the after the group broke up, my mind started thinking about stuff. I was like, wow, wow, man. I don't know why I didn't see that then. Because I was too hyped, I was too caught up in the limelight of man, I'm doing music. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd be doing music. I'm really doing music. This is crazy. Everything I was writing, the stuff I think about in my head that I hadn't wrote down and we started new, people like it. They really like it. Wow, man, this is crazy, man. And, and that's when I say about a few months later, we didn't have, we, we got rid of Vince. We got rid of Vince because I was talking with somebody and they was like, you know, that's a conflict of interest. And then I, they started start explaining it to me. I was like, wow, that do make sense. That do make sense. So we had, you know, we kind of just strayed our way from it because at the time we were dealing with him, John, he was John lawyer too at the same time at first. Mm -hmm. And then John left him. And that what made me think, man, why John leave? Y'all yeah, grew up together. That's kind of why I asked you the question I asked earlier when I'm like, you know, why was it, Lil John and Eastside Boys, because even as the contracts are being signed, you got a lawyer. You saying this is John's lawyer? Yeah, it was you like know, both. It was. It was. He became all our lawyers. He was John lawyer at first, and then it was came to us like, "Want y'all?" It basically came to us like, "Man, want y'all ask Vince to be our lawyer?" Cool, why not? You know, we all kick it together. You know, he's a lawyer, entertainment lawyer. Why not? Hey. And then as we, all three of he all three are lawyers, John dropped him and went with the guy he got now, I guess, or whatever. But he dropped him. And I was like, nah, I wonder why, why John dropped him. All right, so we stayed with him a bit. But I will say, Vince was at the time where he was like, not fresh out of the, you know, the law school, but more of a, still you, a you was, yeah, yeah, still a rookie, you know what I'm saying? He a veteran now, don't get me wrong. He, yeah. he, he, he in there now. 
Yeah, but he but he but he 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 made his bones on y'all. Like so right. Right. okay. Um so I gotta ask. I understand for the first two albums, y'all did not even sign the contract. TVT, you signed the contract. Did you get an advance at least? We got an advance every album. This is what we got. We every album we got a thirty thousand dollar advance. Now we probably got another thirty when we turn the album in. But every time we turn the album in, I'm like, hey man, what uh, what the other thirty? This was John excuse. Oh man, we ate it up in the budget. And I would tell him, who ate it up in the budget? I hadn't used no budget. Oh man, you know, oh man, going uh, flying here and going there. No, 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 no. Eastside boys weren't doing it. You was doing that flying over here and flying there and, and going over here and, and studio time over here with this person, that person. He was using our budget for his personal game. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't using it for group. He was using it for, oh man, I'm, I'm finna book this studio time off our budget to do this Usher record. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, to do this record, this, that record, whatever, you know, and he was blowing the budget on on one one album. He blew the budget on going to Miami and getting a, a rent a mansion out that was ten thousand dollars a month. Talking about doing beats in. But guess what? Me and Bo didn't have a room in that mansion. Not even a room. When we come when we come down, they, he was down there for three months. Three months. They never come home. He was down there for three months. Me and Bo would come down like maybe two weekends out of the month or whatever type thing. And I figured that out. You just doing that to say, well, y'all came down there, you know, to try to make it be like, yeah, y'all came down there, man. You know, you that yeah, y'all was in that budget. No, that was you and them, the magicians that you had down there. And every time we came down there, y'all put us in a nice hotel with the suites and all that stuff. So it was like crazy. We didn't even stay at the house. We'll go to the house and it's almost like we had a curfew. Oh, I hey, hey, y'all call about to come get y'all. We're like, I I mean, one night we left and we go back the next morning. Like, the house, buddy, I had a party or something. What's going on? All these bottles of wine around here and stuff. Come to find out, they sent us home because Mariah Carey was coming. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.